this is my master class. This is my, here's everything I know, and I'm going to entertain you at the same time because that's, that's what I do. Hi, I'm Jeff Daniels, and I have a new memoir on Audible called Alive and Well Enough. Don't do Dumb and Dumber because you're a serious, important actor. I said, well, the actor I want to be isn't just serious and important. He can also be funny, so I appreciate the advice, but I'm going to do it anyway. New York City in the 70s. It was tough, and off-Broadway, and, and the life of other actors, all of us trying to just get the next job for 125 bucks a week. Or maybe you might have a commercial audition and you need to pay your rent and you gotta have this gig. You had to fight through all that to get where you wanted to go. I'm an actor, so I'd pick character. I'm always fascinated by character. It's that, that connection of humanity between a fictional character and the person receiving it. That's where the magic happens. I will wear Crocs anywhere. I've been an actor for almost 50 years, and I can write. I've learned how to be a writer. I've I've become a writer, and so now it's like, let's see if we can't create something that's entertaining, that's a memoir, and then suddenly there are songs, and then writing stuff specifically for Alive and Well Enough that aren't anywhere else. It, it, it's, it's, this Audible series is, is like where I get to be all of me. I think the biggest thing is that I can play guitar and and sing and that I've written songs that are actually entertaining and I was never trying to write stuff that that would you know someone else would do like you don't go to Nashville and go hey here's five songs so, you know buy one and put it on your I was never that guy I just did it for me you know, I thought I was going to be a folk singer the career was going to the acting career was going to end that's what I was going to do I was going to pick up the guitar and go play clubs because I knew how to do that. I knew how to be on a stage. I knew how to hold people with the storytelling, and I had come out of musicals when I was younger, so I, I knew it was like a one-man musical. Longevity in a business that really doesn't care whether you're here on Tuesday. Fame is fleeting, it really is. And to be one of those actors who has lasted for decades in a business that, that really is, is pretty temporary is uh, probably the greatest achievement. The sound that my fingers make when I type the end. If you like the sound of my voice or if you want to hear me play guitar, there's a lot more where that came from in my Audible series, Alive and Well Enough. See you there. <laughs>